Good afternoon. Yes, it's not the evening. <laughs> we are having a big rainstorm here at the moment. I'm um, hoping the lighting is all right for you guys. Just pick my bin up, it's rolling around. Right, um, Rachel Roxy Creations winter page thingy. Um, I'm not going to do a nutcracker. I'm going to do the mushroom. Um, I was tempted to go the classic um, uh, toadstool, you know, with the red top and all the rest of it. But I had my mushroom page here out of my book i would obviously cut that one out <laughs> um i don't know i was really tempted to do this one i don't know if you can see turn the light and loads and loads of layers of lace but i like this one the parasol mushroom i didn't know you could eat these actually so that's interesting but i've been reading it anyway um you know, I might do a mixture. Right, sorry, let me show you the background. So the background is, I don't know if you remember a while ago, I did this page in the previous Roxy challenge uh, with little Robin. And it was my um, faux cyanotope. Uh, did it on the gel, uh, gel plate. So, um, yeah, they're the bits that I've got left over. And I thought, as it's winter, we'll do a nice dark blue background. Um, and obviously it's got the leaves and things on it. Well, I pretend those trees. And then I dyed up these, um, I don't know where they are. Oh, there they are. My dad gave me a load of these. Um, he's got a medical problem uh, and he has to have these things, but he never uses them. And they are a really thin, almost like a netting. I mean, they're meant to be wipes. Well, well they're not wipes. What are they called? Yeah, dry wipes. I don't know. Anyway, he doesn't use them. I thought, mm, I don't know what I'm going to use them for. But what I did was I chucked them in a tin that has got really rusty. It's like a, a baking tray. And I chucked these in with a load of coffee. And um, I just left them outside in the weather. And this is kind of what I got. It's gone super grungy. The uh, tin itself has sort of leached this black stuff into the cloths. And all of a sudden now I like them. <laughs> That's my baby wipes. I don't need those. So, there's a lot of talking going on. So I've put a scrap of um, polyester wadding. Yeah, it's a polyester one. Uh, it's just about big enough for here, so that's fine. I tend to go to my scrap bag before I cut off the roll. So so I think what I'm going to do is, like I did with the robin, I might go around and highlight the plants, first of all. Um, I just don't know whether to do both of those. Because I'm thinking that one I could make with like layers of lace. don't know that one's absolutely lethal I've been reading about that one as well see I could do a brownie one the white ones would show up well though wouldn't they I don't know because that would that would make the top of that really well. Mm, okay, well, we'll think about those. Right, so first of all, I'm going to go around the, and outline the plants. And then this, I thought, would look pretty good as, like, the forest floor, the woodland floor. Kind of bunched up and sort of gnarly, a bit like that, across the bottom there. And then have the mushrooms coming up here. Does that sound like a plan? Does not it? <laughs> Let's get on it. Are you hot? You're a bit high. Let me just move you. Right. I've got to keep an eye on the time. I've got to pick my granddaughter up from school and hopefully get a majority of this done. Right. Oh, that's all those needles that I got. The, my recent haul, by the way. I picked up some more chenille needles. Uh, yeah, I just restocked. <laughs> Because I seem to manage to break them quite easily. I don't quite know how I do that, but, you know, it's a skill. 
couldn't get my uh, refill for my bow and glue pen anywhere on any of the stalls, which I was really shocked about, but never mind. Right, let's, um, let's get an existing needle. It doesn't need to be anything fancy. You're far too big. So I hope everybody's well. It's um, Friday here today. I've got one of my long... Um, Sachiko needles. Um, I, don't, I don't know. Sorry, let me make a decision here. That might actually that might be better. So I'm just looking for something that's fairly thin. Yeah, we'll go with that. Um, yes, it's Friday here today. Uh, had to work yesterday which i wasn't on the rotor for but um my colleague needed a bit of time so i just um that's what i do the morning and it kind of threw my week i i got awfully used to working part-time so i quite like that because it's a nice variegated let's do it i don't know what it is it'll be an anchor thread of some sort and obviously it's a variegated one but i haven't got the wrapper for it anymore and i can't find the end where are you there you are uh, yeah and i had to go and because i was at my daughter's all last week i kind of let my fridge run down of fruit and veg and stuff so i had to go into where did i go all day in the afternoon and just restocked with some fruit and veggies and that was kind of the day it just sort of disappeared so I think two threads might be enough actually let's have a look and then I was merrily getting on with doing stuff this morning and then my landlady knocked at the door she'd somehow lost my phone number no idea but um yeah apparently there's some new legislation legislation coming out about the um fire alarms and stuff in the house so she was filling me in on that bless her she's a lovely lady i think she knows her property's in good hands she's never seen my craft room though <laughs> she'd probably have a fit if she saw it but uh, never mind it's just a room it's just got furniture in it Everything's protected. Right. Carpet wise, anyway. Yes. I'm hoping I'm going to be able to see. Actually, I think you're a beading needle. You're going to be absolutely no good at all. I wanted something fine, but that is definitely a beading needle. Um, what are you? Tiny, tiny head. I've got to book in and uh, see the optician, I think. My eyesight is uh, failing me rapidly. All right, I've got about three million needles here. Come on, just choose one, Susan, and get on with it. That'll do. Little embroidery needle. I need to remake this. I need to make the um, pockets deeper, I think. Or have them going in that way. Gonna replan it. Yep, another needle book. Because <laughs> I'm obviously not happy with just two. Oh, this lighting is shocking. I might have to put my other daylight bulb on. It always looks bright for you guys, but um, it's never terribly bright for me. Right. Eventually we get there. Pins.
just to hold it down temporarily and stitch so yeah I've been humming and hawing about what I'm going to do here and uh, you know what sort of I knew I didn't want to do the nutcracker I know a lot of people have been doing the nutcracker but I didn't I didn't fancy doing that and I don't I don't know why I enjoyed the snowman but just didn't want to do the nutcracker simple as really okay what's going on why are you misbehaving Gonna do a very simple running stitch. I'm not gonna do back stitch. So I think I did. Well, I did do back stitch on the robins, but I'm not going to on this one. It's a proper miserable day here today. It just hasn't stopped raining all day. I'm not complaining because we need the rain. Our rivers are still incredibly low. And I took the um, giant dog down the river last week. I thought to myself then, yeah, this river still hasn't recovered. The grass has, thankfully, but the water levels certainly haven't, so... And gosh, do my thoughts go out to you if you live in Florida. Holy moly, that hurricane has just destroyed Florida, hasn't it? Our thoughts are with you guys if you are in that area. Terrible. Mother Nature is an absolute C-O-W sometimes, isn't she? <laughs> oh. I guess in the UK we're very lucky that we don't get those kinds of extreme very often. You know, it's just we're not in that part of the world, I guess. But I was watching a news report and some guy said, you know, this is you live in paradise and you have to put up with these sort of things. But what a shame. What a shame. But, and there it is. Florida once we did the Disney thing when the kids were little we did uh, 10 days I've never known my children beg to go home to go to bed <laughs> we were absolutely shattered we did all the parks that we could and we went to NASA and um, where else did we go Cocoa Beach and yeah, we, uh, we we certainly put some miles on the map. We travelled around a lot, so it was all good. Went into a Walmart. Oh, first time ever. Wow, that was amazing. Yes. We don't have shops that big here. The kids were fascinated that you could get anything from like you know a loaf of bread to a a gun basically it was um yeah bit of an eye opener and we stopped in a slightly dodgy part of orlando at some point i can't remember oh i know oh well, yeah and um the kids were like oh i really need the toilet so again we stopped in a walmart and um you know, armed security guy on the door and things like that. I was like, mm, don't think we want to be here very long. <laughs> so, yeah, we we're looking for boat parts because my, the girl's father had a boat. Uh, uh, power cruiser, that's the word I was looking for. And um, it was an American make and he wanted to go to the supplier out in Florida. Um, to get some parts that were horrendously expensive over here um, so yeah he got them and uh, we quickly um, turned around and 
got to the Disney side of Florida again, which seemed felt safer. <clears throat> Good. I think we chose the right time of year. I think we went in March. We were very naughty, just took the kids out of school. We told them we were going on holiday. So they didn't find us. It was very good. That is going back a very long time though. We had to take it at that time because um, he was due, their dad was due to be stationed away. So, because he was in the Navy. So. I'll just do this one and then I'll pause you and do the rest on my own. And then um, I'll bring you back for putting on the forest floor. And thinking about the mushroom, I can't decide whether I want to do one or two. I really like that lace cap one. Or shaggy ink cap, as it's called. Because um, I think I can mimic that in lace. I really haven't caught up with the um, Facebook group and see what other people are, if other people are opting to do the mushroom or not. Doesn't matter. I'll just do my own thing anyway. <laughs> Go off in Susie world. Um, if you're following the butterfly journal ones, I'm just going to crack on and do those, I'm afraid, because I've not had any comments where people want to see the you know the actual ins and outs making so i'm just going to uh, get them done i need to clear my desk off i've got so many projects just hanging around that i just um i just want to get them done now so uh, and then what else have i got i've got quite a few other things planned i'm just trying to think now um i made a list well, I want to do some of my beaded divas. Um, I'll grab one and so. Um, because people seem to really like those, and I like making them. To be fair, so. Uh, which might be something that you stitchers might be interested in. Actually, it's a lot of stitching, but a lot of bead work as well. So. Sorry for the sniffing. I don't realise how much I sniff in videos. It's very rude of me. I'll try to be more conscious of not doing that. Yeah, two threads was just the right weight for doing this. Ooh, I think that was a bit of thunder. My daughter and her hubby came home Tuesday late, so I stayed with um, I stayed with the dog till I think it was half past nine, and um, I said to her, "I've got to go." I said because you know I had work the next day, and I said, you know, though I don't travel into work, I'd still like to be up at six and sort of be ready for the day. So um, she said, "Yeah, yeah, it's fine. We're 
We're not long now. I think they... No, she messaged me when they left Greece. And she said we're hoping to land by 10 anyway. So, and then they're only an hour away at Bristol Airport or an hour and a half. So, um, yeah. So he wasn't on his own for long, basically. And she sent me a video of um, when they walked in. She said, um, you know, hoping that the dog was going to be really excited to see her. But he just sat at the top of the stairs and sort of looking at him like to say, yeah, I'm really glad you're home, but it really is my bedtime. <laughs> he did just look so tired because he had been out for a walk, bless him. And he's for a big dog, he doesn't need a lot. And I think that's true with big dogs, isn't it? They don't need... A ton, a ton of exercise. It's, um, I've always found my smaller dogs because I've had Alsatians and Jack Russells, um, and it's the smaller ones that need more exercise. I don't know, anyway. Yeah, so she said he wasn't exactly pleased to see us, he just wanted to go back to bed. <laughs> so, all right, okay. Oh, bless him. Yeah. been down there. Couldn't see that blue thread then. I'm leaning on one of my, one of my nerves again on my arm. She'll pause you here and it's a bit annoying there, yeah. Um, and I will do the others and I will come back and show you that done. And then um, I'll need to plan my mushrooms. Um, and I'll probably make that do for the video actually because I say I've got to go and pick up um, my beautiful scarlet from school because. Um, just have. I shall pause you. I'll do this one. I'll stitch around here. I might leave the shadows as the, as they are. I don't think I'll highlight those. I think it's just the ones on the front I'll highlight. And um, yeah, I'll bring you back when they're done. I will not be long. Right, all the stitching is done. Let me just get it up a bit closer for you. So I've just outlined all, you know, particularly where it was sort of whiter. I'm just playing around with these um, cloth bits. It tears beautifully, this stuff. It tears easier than um, baby wipes, actually. And I'm just sort of trying to plan a, a woodland floor. I think that kind of is what I want. Quite like that there. And then just maybe have just the one mushroom. I just can't decide which one to let me have. I really like that one, but because I'm thinking, like I said, I could do that with lace, but that to me looks more like a mushroom, doesn't it? 
I think I'm going to go with that. I might just do the classic red with the white dots. I don't know. Right. Um, what I'm going to do is just do a very simple running stitch through there, I think, just to hold that down. Now, in the winter, obviously, there wouldn't be any green. So... Maybe I could do... I don't know. What can I do? <laughs> Help. I could just do a brown, couldn't I? I'm trying to use up all these odds and sods bits I've got here. I could just do a brown and maybe maybe a touch of black as well. going on come on let's just do a bit of that okay put my needle down can't find it great doesn't need to be such a Thin one this time, it'll be quite big stitches. Conveniently got a knot there, so let's just right. Okay. Um I might do some really big bold lines and kind of make them look like twigs. <sighs> oh, we can try that. Let's just get this down first. Sort of come back in with sorry, dragging lots of thread here, but Fly stitch on the end here. now I 
I see. Okay. Oh, come on. We've got some twigs going on down there. We could have some looking to see what these have got sort of laying around their stems if you like see sort of dead leaves and stuff so maybe if we can cut some sort of they're gonna be a bit large but Particularly worried about them being attached to a plant or anything, but I think just some sort of dark leaves would look good down there. And then I noticed one of them had like straw, um, sort of like dead. This this thread is like a, um, it's like a very very fine cord. Could just sort of yeah, maybe just sort of couch something like that down. Let's get these leads on first of all. So I'm not really worried about them looking terribly like attached to anything, but Oh, 
Fait. Yeah, this gives it a little bit of dimension, doesn't it? This video has been going on. Sorry if it's a long one. I'll just do these and then um, I shall plot my um, mutterings and think about what I want to do. To be honest, I'm not sure. Sitting through quite a few layers of fabric here, so that's why I'm having to really dig down. can't see them very much but I think they just add a little bit of um, something I will show you in a moment It's just giving that little bit of a uh, bit of movement. I don't know about this. Does it need it? Mm, I don't know. I don't think it does. I don't think it does need it. Oh, I can't make a decision. Maybe we'll put that on after I've done the toadstool mushroom, whatever you want to call it. Right, I'm going to call it quits there for today, or well, for this video anyway. Um, oh, there's that needle. That's a, that's a pin. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll carry on some of the time. Let me get you up a little bit closer. So, yeah, we just put in some sort of grunged up leaves. I might add some more actually. But I won't bore you with that. Um, yeah, I might think about some other. Yeah, I think I'll plan the mushroom next. Sorry, that was really close, wasn't it? I'll plan the mushroom next because that could come up about here. That's where I'm thinking of putting it anyway, in the middle, more or less. And then um, we can add bits after that. So, anyway, I hope that's all right. <laughs> See you on the next one. Bye.